And welcome everybody to our meteorology segment. Thanks for tuning in. Congratulations on realizing the channel exists. Let's get to looking at global wind maps. Yes. Here with the Smash News Network, least busted name of news. We're interested in facts and physics and more. Here are the jet streams of the Eastern world. Pretty chaotic jet stream flow in the southern hemisphere continues. We covered it yesterday. We do these meteorology segments daily, so make sure you press like and subscribe. Tell your friends and foes about us as the algorithms are not helping at all. In fact, they're probably hindering. Anyway, here are the surface winds, and you can see this cyclone here making its way toward the Philippines. A little bit of a downgrade there on the forecast for that. It's now an orange alert level. And if you were a member of smashamash.com slash smash team, you'd probably already know if you would have been reading our posts. Next, the surface winds of the Western world. Powerful cyclonic system here south of Greenland. Does it coincide with an upper level low? Well, let's take a look at the jet streams. Also a low pressure here off the coast of British Columbia. Let's take a look at jet streams here. And there is an anti-cyclone here over uh, Western Europe. Places like France and Germany. France und Deutschland. And you can see a bit of chaos in the Southern Hemisphere as well. Meridional jet stream flow in the Northern Hemisphere with these north to southward bends moving cold air and warm air to places where you might not expect it. Let's take a look at snowfall. There's the snow water equivalent well over one standard deviation above normal. Here's the snow extent, which is actually toward the lower portion of the range. That is the 23-year average. 13-year average. But most importantly, there's the snow mass balance which we're moving into a sixth winter here with a standard deviation or more above the 30-year snowfall average. So once again, starting off things at the upward portion of the range, it's the snow mass balance, which is much more important than extent, as extent is just a 2D indication. There's the extent, there's the, there's the water equivalent, and there is the snow mass balance, calculating mass, not including mountains. Next, we're looking at positive snow depth change in inches over the next 72 hours. This is the GFS forecast for positive snow depth change. And you can see an additional two feet forecasted there for some portions of California. This is in addition to the massive amount of snow they've already got there. This is just the next 72 hours starting today, the 15th. It's the GFS forecast for positive snow depth change in inches. As about half the country is expected to be under snow once this is complete. And let's take a look at the European forecast as well. We're just going to advance this forecast for snow depth into Saturday. So there's where the European forecast for snow depth has snow depth at noon time. That's noon Eastern time on Saturday. The European forecast for snow depth. It's going to be pretty snowy especially in the northwestern portion of the country. Next, you've got a weather.gov map with all kinds of high wind warnings over the central portion of the U.S. The Great Lakes are going to freeze as there's a hard, hard freeze warning for Superior and Michigan and part of Huron. Also, all kinds of winter weather advisories there all around the, uh, especially the western portion of the U.S. If your county's lit up, just click it Get your report from weather.gov. We can't cover all of those counties, but if you've got a specific forecast you'd like us to do, let us know in the comments. We'll consider it. Next year, NASA goes lightning mapper. We do see some lightning here over places like Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado, the nation's largest source of hot air. Why is there so much hot air coming out of Co Colorado, folks? Is it geothermal? Or is it just people that are full of crap? Next, here's your real-time lightning map from lightningmaps.org. Next time you hear thunder, check it out. We've got some terrestrial lightning here. 
north of Albuquerque. Check it out. The Rio Grande National Monument. Canyon uh, Carson National Forest. There's thunder rolling in. North of Santa Fe there. A little bit of an active cell happening. Next time you hear thunder, check it out. Lightningmaps.org. This video was originally streamed live to Twitch. It's just such a great live streaming platform that it's, in some ways, it's the official live streaming platform of the Smash News Network, least busted name in news. Partially because it's not rife with pathetic censorship. Congratulations on everybody realizing we exist over at Twitch. Install the mobile app if you want to see when we go live. We're also on BitChute. Thanks to everybody watching over there. And if you're watching over there, watch on YouTube. You're missing the Daily Space Weather videos most days. And we do expect to do a live stream later today on YouTube. As our YouTube live streams have been getting remonetized. So make sure you check out our playlists. YouTube.com slash smash on ash slash playlists. Also, become a member of the Smash team if you want to support the channel. Uh, if you've been a Patreon, become a member of the Smash team. It's vastly superior. Smashamash.com slash smash team. Links at the homepage and below the video. Here's the water vapor environment over the Pacific Ocean. A massive heat sink featuring some dry massive air here in the southeastern portion there. You can see that huge massive dry massive air. And that should give those of you on the west side some insight. We're going to have an impulse here via this dry mass of air. It's pretty cold, and it will be moving into California, creating clear skies over Northern California later today. Next, your U.S. Doppler radar will zoom out briefly here to show all 50 states. Shout out to our viewers not in the lower 48, as well as our viewers in the lower 48. Thanks, everybody who leaves comments, etc. We consider the entire effort a collaborative one. So thanks again. Anyway, there's the U.S. Doppler. Here's the cloud layer, the shortwave radiation map. It's a little too dark to use the visible over most of the country, so we use this. Check out the low clouds over the eastern seaboard once again. And lastly, the water vapor. We'll go back and show you a recap in a minute here. There's the Doppler. There is the shortwave radiation map showing you clouds and fog at nighttime. And there's the water vapor that should give you some additional information about where the systems are moving. Once again, thanks for tuning in. I've been your host, Dan, a.k.a. smash -a mash signing off from the Smash News Network. Least busted. Name and news. Thanks for leaving a comment, Robert. And I would remind our viewers that opinions expressed in this video are not necessarily the opinions of Smash News Network. Least busted. Name and news.